Which description could represent the graph of f of x equal 4x squared times x plus a minus x minus a if, s, if a is an integer? So looking at this, I'm going to do a little bit of analysis involving f of x. And I notice f of x is, uh, there's a common factor here. And there's a common factor of x plus a. Because if I rewrite this expression by factoring out a negative in the second half here, I'll end up with x plus a in parentheses. And if you look at this, right, between the first term and the second term there, I'll have x plus a. I can factor that. And if I do, I'll end up with x plus a. And then what's left inside the parentheses there is 4x squared minus 1. 4x squared minus 1 is a difference of squares. I can factor that even further. So x, I have x plus a times 2x plus 1 times 2x minus 1. Again, if you're wondering how I'm able to do that so quickly, I want to write in a different color here. We have, if we have a squared minus b squared, that factors into a minus b, a plus b. All right. So anyway, getting back to this, uh, this is, f of x is a third degree polynomial. So this is a third degree polynomial. And uh, the leading coefficient there is positive. So leading coefficient is greater than 0. What I can conclude then is, I'm going to use a different color. What I, then, what I can then conclude is, uh, if I were to graph this, let's say on a number line, right, I don't know where... Uh, I don't know what the value of a is, okay, but I do know that the other roots will be plus or minus one half, so I can have negative one half, and I can have positive one half, and I don't know where a is, and it really doesn't matter, okay, so I can place a here if I'd like, but regardless, okay, what will happen is, because it's a third degree polynomial, and because the leading coefficient is negative, we're going to start from negative infinity, right? It's going to go in this direction. It's going to go up, come down, and then go like that. The end behavior, no matter what the value of a is, okay, is going to behave in the same manner. So we could have a uh, in between negative half and positive half, and I guarantee you the shape wouldn't be any different. So it's going to look something like this. Or if a was to the left of negative half, right? So it really doesn't matter where a is, okay? A could be to the left of negative uh, half, or it could be in between, or it could be to the very, very right. But regardless, we're going to have the same kind of end behavior. All right, so because of that, okay, let's see which description best matches this. So from negative infinity, when x approaches negative infinity, f will approach negative infinity. When x approaches positive infinity, f will approach positive infinity. And there are three roots. That looks like it will be option option two so as x approaches po negative infinity f will approach negative infinity as f x approaches positive infinity f will approach positive infinity and the graph has three x-intercepts okay